a centuries-old tradition to proclaim the new king. With the declaration from the balcony at St. James's Palace, the symbolic transition from Elizabeth II to Charles III was complete. The Prince Charles Philip Arthur George is now, by the death of our late sovereign of happy memory, become our only lawful and rightful liege lord, Charles III, head of the Commonwealth, defender of the faith, to whom we do acknowledge all faith and obedience with humble affection. Gun salutes across the United Kingdom added to the pageantry of the proclamation of the new king. Earlier, Charles III pledged to follow his mother's example of lifelong service to the Accession Council made up of members of the royal family, politicians, bishops and senior civil servants. I am deeply aware of this great inheritance and of the duties and heavy responsibilities of sovereignty. In taking up these responsibilities, I shall strive to follow the inspiring example I have been set. And in carrying out the heavy task that has been laid upon me, and to which I now dedicate what remains to me of my life, I pray for the guidance and help of Almighty God. God save the King! This was the first time that the Accession Council was televised, and there will be plenty more pomp to come, with the upcoming funeral of Elizabeth II and Charles III's coronation, which may not take place for some time. His mother waited 16 months after her accession to the throne. James Mulholland reporting. We're